here on the job site. Got the uh, old cube set up. Got some buckets that I got ready yesterday. This is a safer bank, it's only maybe eight foot tall. That's the one I'll be digging on. Looks like nothing's really collapsed too much, just a little bit. But all right, I'm ready to run some stuff here. All right, I've ran five buckets. Uh, starting to do another one. I'm just letting that dry out of here because it's kind of moist. But there's some more of that black sand layer in there. And there's some rusted oxidized stuff also. Uh, see that black sand layer. Uh, like I said, I ran about five buckets now. I had a little water issue. I brought all these two liter bottles full of water, but as I'm dumping out tailings out of the bucket, I'm losing a little bit of water. Some splashing a little bit. But I found a creek just down the road, so I Grab some more water. Uh, let's get rid of some of this water here, speaking of. I'm trying to save every drop I can so I don't have to run back down there. If I do, oh well. But that's how many cups of cons I got, or how much cons of four or five cups there. Some of that blonde off, and you can see all the black sand there. <clears throat> but I don't know, I'll probably run another four or five buckets at least. Still somewhat early, not really tired yet, but I haven't really checked any of the cons yet at all. All but I've been putting this little mini sluice right there it allows just enough gap right here for stuff to run off it and every time I shut down I take this into my little pan rinse it off and just see if there's anything that's about all I've done as far as testing I've seen a few specs just in the little sluice thing as I tested but once I get all done I will probably run these again uh, in a clean tub of water at home or something. Uh, I'll run the cons on the cube again just to kind of minimize how much is there. Try to get that. I'd say by the end of the day I'll probably have close to 10 cups. But after I run it again I'm hoping to get it down to back down to about 5 cups of cons. But I figured I'd just let you know where we're at. I got the toothbrush there to scrub the vortex when I first fire it up each run. Get those bubbles off there. But alright, that's what's going on. Alright, <clears throat> I'm about done. I think I ended up running seven buckets was all. The water started to get low. And started to vapor lock, air lock my pump, so I don't know how much time I got on my battery left either on the, for the cube, so I guess it's as good a time as any to go ahead and call it. I'm just letting this one run for a second. Uh, I may come back tomorrow, not sure. If I do, it won't be for very long because uh, the goldprospectorspace.com radio show is on tomorrow. I don't like to miss that, so. Well, I'm gonna 
clean these last two trays. Clean my tubs and pans. Get out of here. Uh, that's what we got there. I don't know if you can see it, the sun's starting to go down, but I'd say it's a good seven, eight cups, plus another cup or so from these ones once I clean it out. I'm going to head home and run these cons again, and we'll take a peek. Alright, I've been sick for a couple days, so uh, this part two took me a little longer than I expected to get out. Uh, I'm just going to do a real fast I got. About a cup of material there. But instead of doing this at a tablespoon at a time like I normally would, and just to get this video out a little faster, I'm going to... Just do a quick reveal for you guys. Suck up some of this black sand and make it a little easier. I'm sure there might be some gold in it, but like I said, I'm just trying to do a little quick reveal for you guys so I can get this video out. Well, I know I washed some of it down, 
Some of it might even be in the snuffer bottle because I did it awfully fast, but... It's about six, seven buckets worth. I don't know if you can see the real tiny stuff. Majority of it's been pretty consistently the same size. Wasn't a whole lot of the real tiny stuff, but... Oh, I know this is probably tiny to most of you, but... And again, that was a quick, quick reveal. Uh, I'm going to be doing a part three. And that will be showing the final, like everything off this entire job site. Um, I've only got a few more days here on this job. But the one right next door to it looks just as good. Uh, I actually brought back a bucket of, well, a half bucket today because I forgot my classifiers, which reminds me I need to put those in my car again. For some reason, I brought them in the last time. Uh, <clears throat> but I'll do a final part three video. That will be here in two or three days. And I'll go over this. Again, and the snuffer bottle, and several more buckets. I'm hoping to get another six or seven buckets before all is said and done on this job. But like I said, the one next door looks pretty much identical. Black sand streaks, cobble, and I'll be testing a bucket of that tonight. Hopefully it reveals decent gold but uh all right we'll see you on part three which will should be the finish maybe not maybe there'll be a part four because i have that whole other job site to work on <laughs> uh, so i'll probably do another series on the second hole the second job site so there'll be either one more part to this hole or maybe two parts to this whole, uh, probably just one to make it easy on myself and show you guys the total. I've already shown you the job site, not much more to see there. So I'll probably just run buckets, gather cons, and do one more part.